Hi everyone, I hope you had a fantastic holiday and it's a great beginning of the year because this year is gonna be something. I don't know about you, but I have goosebumps when thinking about how XR industry is evolving year by year and what we will see in 2024. Because I'm so curious, I did a thorough research about what's going on in XR and want to share what I see and what experts in the field say. Let's discuss and make our predictions what to expect in the XR industry in 2024. Let's go! I guess many have heard about Apple Vision Pro release date and these buzz about the headset. Of course, they are playing a big role in renewing interest in XR for big companies, investors and consumers, even though their headset isn't the cheapest one. Also, Meta actively sells Quest 3 and, as we can see from customers and tech reviews, they are making great progress in their headsets. This year will be a huge and exciting year for XR because four, four big companies are going to release their XR devices. Apple, Sony, Samsung and Google. And I'm sure Meta and other companies work day and night to improve their products. And since I've already mentioned the Vision Pro, let's talk about the spatial computing, the first trend. This year we'll hear a lot of discussions about spatial computing and there will be huge attention to this. Apple is steering away from mainly used terms like AR, VR and MR, choosing instead to emphasize spatial computing when referring to their cutting edge headset. Some think that it's a marketing term from Apple, but this is more like an umbrella term for all of this AR, VR, MR and doesn't limit possibilities with just one term. When Apple revealed its Vision Pro special computing device, they also introduced Vision OS, the first ever dedicated special operating system in the XR market, according to the company. Plus, Apple has extended special computing features into its iOS ecosystem. But Apple isn't alone in this. Other companies like Rocket, for example, are following the same path. Rocket's AR Studio, a special computing platform, gives users immersed special computing in augmented reality. It includes features like hand gesture recognition and spatial audio. Another big thing that you have probably already noticed from Vision Pro presentation and from Meta's Quest 3 release and how they significantly improve their pass-through feature. So that is the next trend, that headsets are living towards mixed reality, that allow users to see a real-time view of their surroundings outside of their VR view and more and more games and apps are developing for mixed reality usage, and many other companies working on it. The third trend is quite obvious, but not less exciting. Integration of AI into XR. Generative AI is a game changer for whipping up digital environments, characters and 3D stuff faster. Thanks to AI and machine learning, XR is leveling up with more realism, interaction and personalization. If to talk about realism, I was shocked at how VR games become immersive with NPS, with the eye. You literally can communicate with them. Ask them with your voice and they answer your question. It's just mind-blowing. Greg, thanks so much for helping me out, man. I don't know anyone here at the party. Can you give me some tips about how to loosen up a bit? No problem, Tom. Just be yourself and try to find some common ground with people. Ask them about their interests or what they do for a living. And don't be afraid to join in on conversations. Oh, and maybe grab a drink to help you relax a bit. Hi there. I'm Tom. How are you guys enjoying the party so far? Hi, I'm Alice, and this is my friend. The party has been a bit quiet so far. I don't know. I'm not really a party person. What about you, Tom? Are you having fun? Actually, I'm not that much of a party person either. Yeah, sometimes parties can be a bit overwhelming. Not to mention the integration of AI as a personal assistant into AR glasses and MR headsets, which will evolve and go to advanced level interaction. As a great example, Microsoft Copilot, in combination with the MR headset, transforms the real world into input for generative AI providing assistance to workers in the industrial environment. Now workers can interact with Copilot using natural language and gestures to receive the information they need in real time with speech and holograms. 
plus artificial intelligence and machine learning leveling up the AR and MR tracking of objects and placing them into our surroundings with more realistic shadows and lightning, so it will be definitely a hot topic in 2024. And not only this, but a lot of new terms are coming up this year and one of them is industrial metaverse. More and more companies see the value and usage of XR headsets in working with digital twins, guided work instructions, designing, training process and collaboration. This trend is also supported by Sony's latest announcement of a new mixed reality headset for work that has a Qualcomm chip and unique ring. It is supposed to be a competitor for Apple's Vision Pro. So I would get the industrial metaverse and special computing will go hand in hand in 2024. Another trend will grow with industrial metaverse – digital twins. In simple words, digital twins replicate physical objects or systems in the digital realm. It's a trend that's shaking up industries, especially architecture and urban planning. Digital twins let us simulate things more accurately, make smarter design choices and enhance the realism. With XR in the mix, the potential is huge, from streamlined product design to supercharging urban infrastructure, so digital twins are gaining momentum as a transformative innovation. If you're excited about the magic is happening around the XR industry as I did, like the video that I know I'm not alone. Realism will be increased not only in environments in XR, but also how we will be presented in digital space. Soon enough, we would create our digital twins, hyper-realistic avatars, and this is gonna be a new trend that starts in 2023. Do you remember Lex Friedman's podcast with Mark Zuckerberg? They were talking to each other using their hyper-realistic avatars, and Meta has already been working on it. Plus, Apple Vision Pro also presented video calls, where you can use your hyper-realistic avatar. Many other companies try to make a digital version of us by developing advanced scanning or using a photo that applies to the avatar, which you can then customize with your proportion of body, etc. This kind of personalization can lead to a more immersive and engaging virtual experience. And to support all of these cool trends and evolution in space and computing, companies definitely need this technology in 2024 to deliver everything faster – 5G or even 6G and cloud services. To reduce latency and ensure smooth spatial experiences, companies are investing in advanced connectivity options. One example is NVIDIA's Cloud XR 4.0 platform, which provides developers with the capability to build comprehensive cloud setup with 5G mobile compute edge connectivity. The integration of XR Cloud streaming solution and access to 5G allows companies to create powerful spatial computing experiences at a reasonable cost. This development has the potential to make technology adoption more accessible for companies of various sizes in the years to come. So for XR developers, it's gonna be a super exciting and quite challenging year, because as I mentioned, Apple Vision Pro has its Vision OS Meta has a custom Android-powered operating system, HoloLens runs on Windows Holographic OS, each company with its own operating system and programming languages, so it looks like not a simple task to solve. As Tom Emmerich, director of product, a augmented reality platform of Niantic mentioned in his article, Developers must now navigate a maze of different requirements and specifications to ensure their applications can function across a range of devices. So platforms such as Unity, Snapdragon Spaces, and 8th Wall are becoming indispensable for developers looking to create applications that work across devices as they offer the ability to build once and deploy everywhere. The significance of standards like OpenXR and open source tools such as the Mixed Reality Toolkit in this fragmented landscape cannot be overstated. OpenXR serves as a unifying force offering a common standard that can bridge the gap between different devices and platforms, and is currently adopted by Magic Leap, Microsoft, ByteDance, and Meta. This standard is critical for developers who aim to reach a broader audience without the need to rewrite code for each unique platform. So we need standards. And the prediction is that this year developers will find a way to standardize XR development, or at least narrow down this range. 
about standardization. With Apple Vision Pro release, more headsets companies will try to adopt interaction using gaze and work more on controlless user experience. In 2024, we should see substantial progress in hand and eye tracking and more advanced voice implementation in commands and interaction. In addition, the perception of XR headsets is shifting towards being seen as productivity tools rather than just for gaming. Do you feel the increase in enthusiasm? I am sure you do. Get ready, because 2024 is about to become the year of XR. The year of spatial computing magic. This picture is Four big short companies are gearing up to drop the XR devices, and even the heavyweight are getting back into the XR game. So mark my words, 2024 will be a game changer, like what 2023 did, but uh, cracked up to 10. We are talking about a shift from VR to MR headsets, and a whole lot of people are jumping on AR and mixed reality bandwagon. It's gonna be epic. Thanks for joining the fun today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome content. I love connecting with you all, so feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or TikTok. Until next time, stay awesome as you are and keep spreading those good vibes.